guys and welcome back to I Love You. Today we have something really exciting planned. We are going to be making our version of Panera Bread's tomato basil bread. Alright, so if you will meet me in the kitchen and we will get started. So here we have measured out all of our ingredients. We have our Parmesan cheese, basil, flour, salt, sugar, active dry yeast, tomato paste, and a little bit of oil. So we start with our mixer bowl where we've mixed together our yeast, sugar, and a cup and a half of warm water. And on top of that, you want to start adding your dry ingredients, your flour, your Parmesan cheese, basil, salt. And then on top of all of that, we will add the oil as well as the tomato paste. We're now going to take this mixture and put it on the mixer with a dough hook on low speed for seven minutes. We want it to fully incorporate and mix together. Um, that way there's no pockets of our dry ingredients for our flour. You see here it'll start to come together and as we mix it'll continuously come together to make one uniform dough. While our dough is finishing mixing, we want to get a medium-sized bowl and coat the inside with a generous amount of pan spray or oil. That way our dough isn't going to stick to it. You will then transfer your mixed dough from the mixer bowl into your prepared bowl. We will then take that bowl and cover it with plastic wrap. You could also cover it with a warm towel if that's something that you'd like to do that should speed up the process of rising a little bit. Um, we will take it and either put it on a bench in a warm room. Um, you can, if you have the ability to use a proof box, you can use that. While your dough is rising, you want to prepare your bread pans with pan spray. Um, just a generous coating on the inside so your bread won't stick while it's baking. Now that your pans are prepped, we want to check our bread dough. Here you will see that it is not quite doubled in size, but it is risen and soft and sticky to the touch. When you press it, it imprints with your finger. So we will put a light dusting of flour on our workbench. You don't want too much flour. Um, you want to maintain the color and consistency of your dough. You pull your dough right out of the bowl onto your workspace and you're going to divide that dough in half as this recipe is enough for two normal loaves of sandwich bread. So the way that we roll this dough out as you flatten it just a little bit and you want to continuously tuck and roll the dough as well as folding the sides in so that it won't start to unroll in your pan as it's rising or while it's baking. Um, I like to think of this as rolling a grinder or a sandwich up in a piece of wax paper want to make sure those edges are tucked in so it doesn't come unrolled. Now that you have them all rolled and set, you want to put your dough in the pans and you want to spray the tops of your bread with a little bit of room temperature water just to rinse away the flour that may still be stuck there. That way it won't stay through the baking process. Now we take our bread and we put it, we use a proof box. Um, you can use a warm room or cover it with a damp towel to allow it to rise. 
now that it's doubled in size and looks like a nice loaf of bread, we will take it to the oven and you bake it for about 30-35 minutes at 350 to 375. When it is done baking, you just pull it out and we like to transfer it close to right away onto a wire rack for cooling. That way it doesn't bake too much more in the pans. Uh, the longer you leave it in the pans, the more it will bake and you may get a, a thicker crust on the outside of the sides and bottom of that loaf of bread. So if you like a softer crust, make sure to pull them out of the pan sooner. Now that your bread finished cooling, you are going to slice it into whatever size slices of bread that you like for sandwiches, toast, etc. We have a slicer here so it makes some nice uniform slices for us. And at the end of this video, the picture you will see is our recreation of one of my favorites from Panera, the Mediterranean Veggie Sandwich. Um, we will include a recipe at a future date for that. And we hope you enjoyed this video. You can find us on Twitter at loaf underscore you. And please leave us suggestions for future videos, recipes that you would like to see. Thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Happy cooking.